Hey, Brad Lancaster here, author of the books Rainwater Harvesting for Dry Lands and Beyond, which also cover sun and shade harvesting strategies. Well, I'm here today to show you how just uh, some rain irrigated street trees can dramatically help cool your neighborhoods in hot and dry times. I'm gonna change the perspective and we'll check it out. All right, I'm standing in the middle of my neighborhood street on a day at the end of September when it's 89 degrees. Now let's come on down and I've got this um, infrared thermometer and we can see it's 123 degrees more or less Fahrenheit um, on this barren asphalt. So then let's uh, see here, we've got a native food bearing desert ironwood tree, great shade tree. Um, that is getting free irrigation from water that flows along the street gutter and into a big basin I've got there. So let's go under this uh, shade canopy and let's look at what the temperature is here. Okay. 85 degrees. Okay, so it was 123 degrees in the full sun. It's 85 degrees here. Man, that is, that is a huge difference. Okay, um, that is over 35 degree difference uh, when you are standing in the full sun compared to in the shade of a beautiful native food bearing tree irrigated with nothing more than free water, street water harvested off the street via a dip in the curb into a big basin here that the roots can access. That is sweet. So this is a photograph taken uh, showing you how things looked before we started planting the rain, the street runoff, and native food bearing vegetation. Now I'm going to back up and you can see how things look like today after planting the rain, the street runoff, and all this native food bearing vegetation. Sweet! I mean, this is an oasis that is irrigated solely with street runoff and rainfall, passively harvested and water harvesting earthworks or rain gardens. So we do not extract or use any water from the city system. So we're not ex uh, extracting any water from our local water supplies. Instead, we are infiltrating so much water that we infiltrate more rain and street runoff than is absorbed by the vegetation. So we're actually helping recharge the aquifer and our local waters, not taken from them. And what's more, this is also a great flood control system because water that used to flow down the street and flood downstream areas, we're now pulling it off the street and growing this verdant vegetation and creating this wonderful walkway people can walk through. Love it. All right, if you would like to get uh, simple information on how you can do the same or even better than we've done uh, with these living air conditioners of native food bearing trees irrigated with nothing more than rainwater and the runoff off the street. Check out my books, Rainwater Harvesting for Dry Lands and Beyond, and my website, harvestingrainwater.com, where you can get my books direct from me at deep discount. Also be sure to check our neighborhood efforts that have been doing a lot of this planting of the rain and native food forests at neighborhoodforesters.org. All right, thanks for watching.